15 Stupid Things Poor People Prioritize in Life From eating all manner of fast foods and wasting time to unbelievable things like not taking a shower and not saving, I'll be bringing up to speed with all the wrong things poor people prioritize in life. Let's get started. Welcome to Insight Booth, your home of insights that inspire forever. Number 1. Waking up late in the day. What time do you wake up? Are you one to hit the snooze button to get 10 more minutes of sleep? As you think about it, hear this. Unlike rich people, poor folks wake up late. They're often lazier than the rich in the morning. I know the former statement might bother you a lot. However, someone who slept a lot in their youth is less likely to remain poor later in life. If you don't educate yourself, wake up late, and waste time on meaningless activities, you might derail your life progress. If you don't focus on growth in your youth, you'll work harder with little success later in life to remain afloat. Many rich people wake up early to use quiet time to do stuff for themselves. Waking up early helps in getting organized, planning, and strategic thinking. For instance, wealthy people like Bob Eager, Tim Cook, Martha Stewart, Howard Schultz, and Jeff Bezos wake up before 5 a.m. I wonder what mattress they sleep on. Number two, material wealth. Now here is something you might not be in on yet. The real source of capital and wealth is not material things. Yes, don't even look the other way, you heard right. It's the human spirit, brain, imagination, and hope for the future. Unfortunately, the poor think material wealth is what they need to be rich. I think actually, I hope you'll agree that wealth shouldn't be material gain, but a peaceful state of mind. So if your mindset is made up of material gains, then wealth creation is far from your doorstep. If you think material gains define you, then you're missing the whole point. Peace of mind will free you from negative thoughts, emotions, and people. Please find it in your dreams, soul, and passions, but not in the misguided perceptions about material wealth. Number three, eating fast food. What's in your plate? Well, it seems it's easy to tell whether you're rich or poor by just looking at it. Anyway, poor people eat more fast food because it's cheap and doesn't require cooking time. Unfortunately, fast food can cause obesity, type 2 diabetes, insulin resistance, and other cardiovascular conditions. This is because fast foods are rich in sugar, trans fat, saturated fat, salt, processed ingredients, and calories. These actively ruin their bodies. Therefore, they can't perform at optimal. Eat healthy to increase your energy and productivity. Number four, wasting time. According to Robert Kiyosaki, a former financial instructor and prolific writer, the only difference between the rich and the poor is how they spend their time. The poor are always the victim of time. He looks back and realizes that he spent his time unproductively. The rich know the importance of time management, so they protect and prioritize their time by paying others to handle less important errands. Number five, not taking showers. Believe it or not, this is not made up. Poor people don't shower. This fact is amazingly true and explains a lot when you think about it. Poor, unhygienic people are less successful than rich people. Normally, people will spend less time with you if you're unhygienic, and this has an impact on your overall personal growth. If people don't like or admire you and don't want to be around you, what kind of friends will you attract? It sounds ridiculous, but the first step to success is showering every morning. Number six, blaming others. Poor people blame others for their faults. Some things are out of your control, but 99% of your life is on you. You're in charge of your life, relationships, and health. And if you want these aspects to change, do something about it. Life isn't what happens to us, but it's how we react to what happens to us. When something awful happens, poor people choose to victimize others while the rich handle it, study it, and seek to find out what happened, why it happened, and how they can protect themselves from it in the future. The rich use situations as a growing point. Number seven, no saving. Saving money allows for growth, but poor people hardly save. 
If you have saved money, any urgent situation can be solved quickly and help you resume your life. Otherwise, you might liquidate an asset like your house or car, or apply for a loan as well, but the rich are left in the same situation minus the savings. For poor people, their life has been dramatically slowed, and they even belong to a creditor. Let's imagine the exact opposite, an opportunity knocks on your doorstep. Those with savings will have the opportunity to expand their lives, while the poor will not afford to take full advantage of this golden opportunity. That's why the rich keep growing richer while the poor remain poorer. Number eight, buying useless things. The purchase and pursuit of physical possessions can't fully satisfy your desires for happiness. Poor people often buy items deemed to be indulgent, extravagant, and unnecessary. Why would you spend money on useless status symbols like belts, clothes, handbags, cars, and televisions if you're poor? Don't take out loans for useless things like TVs and new iPhones that can't generate money. It's that simple. Take a loan for a new iPhone if you're using it to develop a new application to grow your business. Likewise, don't feature useless items on your credit card. Number nine, streaming too much. Streaming services entertain millions of viewers where and when they want it, anytime, day or night. On-demand access to movies, televisions, and miniseries give you control, relaxation, escape, and relief from boredom. But unlike the poor, the rich would rather be enlightened and educated than entertained. So they replace streaming with thinking, exercising, reading, or any other form of self-improvement or education. Celebrity buzz and gossip offer no value to your life. It only serves the celeb's aim to appear on TV. You might say, but hey, I watched The Big Bang Theory, which is a funny show that helps me disconnect and disengage. That's exactly it. The problem, you disconnect from your issues instead of handling them. You might also say that you only watch TV to be aware of what's happening globally, staying informed. Unfortunately, most TV stations are always biased to fit their agenda. Instead, use the internet to get a detailed glimpse of the world and move on with doing your things. Number 10, Searing More Kids Before we go on with this, I'll be clear that the number of kids you want is up to you. Agreed? Great, so let's continue. Poor people tend to sire more kids, especially early in life. But realistically, kids are expensive to cater to. If you're living in more developed states, raising a kid can cost about $250,000. So wait a couple years until your living standards improve to ensure the right environment and prime conditions for your kids. Number 11, interacting with the wrong friends. Poor people socialize and interact mostly with other poor people. You're the sum of five people you hang out with. Working with people who could inspire and push you beyond your limits would be best. Their success can also motivate you to exceed your reality. Double check if you're still hanging out with people you hang around with while growing up. Don't be afraid to step away and move on to something better, or else your growth potential might remain minimal. Number 12, not learning new ideas. You can't control where you were born, who your parents are, or how society treats you. But do you know what you can? You can control the amount of time you spend on your dream, goals, and objectives. Everyone has 24 hours per day, and some do more than others. So dedicate your time to learning and implementing more about what you like. Many businesses fail due to a lack of proper knowledge, training, and management. If you have an idea, put it out, work on it, get feedback, launch it, and improve it again and again. Number 13, thinking about helpless. Poor people believe that others should assist them in reaching the top. But unfortunately, nobody owes you anything. You're in charge of what happens in your life. Stop believing you're young and still have time to be successful. This world only rewards the best and only the best. Those who never quit and keep learning, adapting, and understanding that nobody will fix their issues for them. So face your issues positively, wholeheartedly, and own your life. Number 14, ignoring good health care. Good health care should be your priority. It determines your comfort, prosperity, and overall attitude. 
Unfortunately, poor people often lack money for treatment and medication, and with poor health care, they're likely to remain poorer. Bad health limits one's ability to work, inhibit educational attainment, reduce economic opportunities, and lead to bankruptcy and medical debt. You can break the cycle of poor health care by eating a balanced diet, don't skip sleep, and developing a solid exercise routine. Number 15. Gambling There's no such thing as getting rich easily and quickly. Financial success takes the initiative, takes time, and requires relentless effort. Unfortunately, poor people gamble, thinking there is a shortcut to success. Avoid playing the lottery and betting on sports. Instead, make a habit of pursuing your dreams and goals. Now, what other stupid things do poor people prioritize in life? Let me know in the comments section. And I know this was quite a long list, but it will help you in your life. So smash that thumbs up button already. Sharing is caring too, so you know what to do. Most importantly, if these insights made you feel anything, please subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications to never miss out on future videos. You've been fantastic. Bye.